Hello everyone and welcome to the AFSIA Solar Academy e-learning platform. In this video, we focus on the solar home systems. We will discuss the technology, the different components of a solar home system, the cost, as well as the challenges facing the solar home system segment. Solar home systems, abbreviated SHS, are small-scale autonomous electric supply systems. These systems are suited for households that are off-grid, as well as those that have unreliable electricity supply. These systems, they generate direct current, DC, which can be used to power various small electrical appliances. As you can see in our slide, these systems can be used for lighting, for powering television sets or electric fans, as well as for DC powered fridges and freezers. SHS systems operate at a rated voltage of 12 volts DC with a solar panel of rating between 15 and 300 watt peak. To optimize the energy consumption of these systems, they are usually connected to DC powered electrical appliances as well as sized for a specific amount of hours for daily use. In this next slide, we demonstrate the different components of a solar home system. The first component is a solar panel. The job of a solar panel is to convert the sun's rays into electricity, which is later stored in the battery. But also integrated with the battery is a charge controller. The charge controller helps to regulate the charging and discharge within the battery. But also within the SHS system, you find a number of cables. These cables connect the SHS to a number of DC electric powered appliances such as multiple LED lamps, television sets, fridges, and fans. So, what distinguishes a solar home system from a Pico solar system? Well, let's see in this slide the differences between the two. For a Pico solar system, we are looking at the rating below 10 watt peak. Well, for the solar home system, we are looking at between 15 to 300 watt peak in the size of a solar panel. So already you can see that the two are different in the sense that a Pico solar system has much less watt peak compared to a solar home system. Also, the devices that are powered by the two are different. For a Pico system, you're only able to power a charging phone as well as a light. In most cases, a single lamp. While for the solar home system, you can power multiple electric devices, such as fans, TVs, and multiple lamps. The target group for these solar home systems usually includes individuals, private households, small and micro enterprises, and this is usually in rural areas or in areas with no electricity. These systems usually range between 20 watt peak and 300 watt peak with battery capacity ranging between 10 amp hour and 130 amp hour, depending on the size of the kit. On a full load, these systems will operate between three and five hours daily. And they are the best substitutes for kerosene lamps, candles, and dry cell batteries. For one to access a solar home system kit, Two sales models exist. The first model is called CAPEX. Under this model, the customer is expected to make a full payment cost of the solar home system kit. And once the payment is made, the customer completely 
owns the kit. And these kits usually cost between 75 US dollars and 1000 US dollars. Not everyone in the community will be able to afford this amount at once. And that's why there is the second model of sale. And this is called Paygo. Under the Paygo model, customers are allowed to pay slowly towards the solar home system kit. And this cost could range from 20 to 50 US dollars. The payment plan usually lasts as long as 36 months. And this enables customers without money to pay upfront at the first payment to be able to make small payments towards a solar home system kit until the payment plan is complete. Once it's complete, then the customer can fully own the whole system. Therefore, regarding distribution of solar home systems, we have both manufacturers and last mile distributors across the continent. For manufacturers, we have companies like Sunking, Delight, Forsella, and Barefoot. For last mile distributors, we have companies that dominate the different regions within the continent. In West Africa, you find companies like Uulu and Easy Solar, while in Central Africa, you find Zola. We have Mkopa and B-Box, as well as NG, dominating East and North part of Africa. And in conclusion, solar home systems in the past 10 years have become a great solution for rural electrification. They provide lighting and are able to power basic electrical appliances such as TVs, fans, and fridges. By 2022, over 22 million solar home systems have been distributed across Africa, bringing electricity access to about 100 million Africans. And all this is thanks to pay-go sales model which has made these systems even more affordable.